in today's episode this Vensa is going for a crazy angle and it took us the whole team to be able to hold a timber. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. We love the ocean so we decided to make it our home by buying a massive wooden schooner which is unfortunately sinking. A lot of people believe our boat is doomed but we refuse to settle on that thought and we are willing to do whatever it takes to bring it back to its former glory. Join us on this refurbishing journey and wish us luck! So over here at the stern, we're actually removing the rest of the transom. So over here you can see, well this is actually what we removed a while ago because we had to access all this for the frames. But now we're going to start removing the rest and why is it also good that we're removing this. It's a massive piece of wood but unfortunately it is just like the rest of the boat falling apart. Yeah, a nice big piece, strong piece, that's just crumbling apart. So what's going to happen now, these last frames are in that are, that are attached to the transom, they're being planed down so that the transom can start being built. And why are we also building the transom now is the shear plank has been put on, but there's no point in, well there's not much structure in the boat with the shear plank if the top plank or any planks of the, the transom are not in it. So that's what we're going to start working on now. Also, when that top plank is in there, we are going to start planking completely. So that's what this is for now. Good news is we don't need to replace all the beams and all the planks of the deck, aft deck, but we will have to cut off part of it and replace the most aft piece. While the other two are busy working on the tops of the frames and the top of the shear plank, making sure that's all level to start receiving beams and uh, deck. Over here, Nico and Elio are actually building some more planks to start closing the hole. So the aft planks, that's these. And then I'm inside preparing, well, doing what I can so that later more work can be done faster. So yeah, there's so much going on and that's why we're managing to do this all so fast. the tops of the well all the frames and the shear plank is finished we're actually going to continue putting planks on which is cool because that's going to make the boat look very ready and like a boat So what's very cool is our first beam is going to be made. Now I, so over here you can see that our transom is going to start getting put together. We've got this veggie bota which is being made, which will go over here as well. But in order for that all to work, we're going to need some solid beams. So over in the workshop, they're busy making a, our first beam, which is a massive piece of wood. It's also about 12 by 12 centimeters. And that's going to go up here so it can hold, start holding the transom as well as some of the other planks and frames. So that is very cool. So you're going to show us what that is. You're going to look at it and tell me what it is. Okay. Oh. 
So over here we actually have a beam being made. I thought the reason why we were here was to like prevent more holes from our boat <laughs> but I think not, they didn't understand what we wanted so Duka actually this is Duka's seat so we actually saved your seat just in case you're wondering so Duka whenever you come visit that little seating area is still there just be careful okay so we're actually thinking of keeping this back open like a regatta boat, you know? Open hull, open transom. It's good to go fishing as well. Just sit here. Have the fishing rod ready, just watch the fish. Ah, by the way. Our transom was and will be this thick. I mean, compare it to MP, she's tiny. I, I'm insect. Yeah. Yeah, so that's eight centimeters. This is what it will be, was and will be. So this beam is now in place, it's fitting nicely against the old one. I've put a little bedding compound in between both, also on both sides here. All that's remaining is we're going to make a little filling block, which will be a little triangle that will head over here. This will also have a little compound in between and that will allow, so this nail is just going to be removed, that's temporary. It will allow a threaded bar to go through here, through the filler and through both of these beams to the other side. To hold all this together which will also hold the transom here is a little mock-up that's already been made which has to be cut properly still so it fits nicely it's quite tough because this bit closest to me is narrower than the bit against the plank so it's gonna have to go from narrow to wide and it's gonna have to be a little pyramid shape but he'll manage he's a good guy <laughs> And this is the second piece, it's in already. So this is ready to be put, well, fastened together from this to this to this and this. All is going to be one big, has it? No. It's all going to be one big bar going through it with a nut on each end and a washer. It's going to hold that together. Now that frames are ready, shear plank is ready and on place. We are working already on beams and also planks.
So why is it while Zeka and Nez, Nezo are actually putting on more planks, I'm heading over here to just show you this beam that's being made is actually the most aft beam which is cut at an angle. So this will be attached to the bottom of the deck. So this is the top. I'll turn the camera for you. And then one, uh, this side, or this side. So one of these sides is actually going to be the transom coming across it. And that is the angle of deck transom. And that's how that's going to work. So that's going to be cut right now. Then when that's cut, it just has to be finished. So paint and sanding. And then that's going to head over to the boat. Also, this bit over here is not going to be used. The cut will be sooner because it's excess wood. Quick correction. I'll show on this side, but the transom will come on this line, not that line. Now you can cut. So that beam actually came from here, exactly where my hand is now. It used to be attached to here and goes all the way, well actually here, sorry, and goes all the way across to there and it's actually what holds the transom on. It goes from here, up, past here, up to here. So as that is a very structural piece of the boat, as well as every other beam, but that's the one where the transom is actually onto and where the Beji bota, which is the vertical kind of frame that comes up here, is also attached. So it's very important that this one is of a very good structure as it holds the corners of the ship together as well as most, a lot of joints come together on it. So while he's finishing that and P's off to go and get some nails because we've run out of nails um, and they're very high in demand in this region as it's just completely full of shipyards and especially wooden shipyards, wooden boat shipyards. And while we're here, we've actually got a little graveyard of all the pegs and nails that used to be in the boat. Have a look at this size of these. Huge compared to my hand here. Now, the good thing about this is they're very, very strong and they hold, oh, they hold very well. However, you'll need very, very thick frames, for example, for, the, for this not to either contaminate the wood or for it not to just crack the wood when it's being hammered in, because this is a very th big diameter peg compared to the wood we're using. So, it is done like this up north and it holds very well and I think the reason why our boat held on for so long in such a bad shape is because these were holding on. However, they are not good if you want to just lay to do a maintenance and replace a plank because you simply, it's just so difficult to take these out without damaging the planks or frames when they're removing them. So we're actually using 
more nails but smaller nails so they can be spread out a bit more and later when we need a maintenance to replace a plank or whatever we can uh, remove the plank up not easier but without damaging the rest of the boat and replace the plank where we need to it's a shame because lots of the frames that we had to replace that weren't rotten were just cracked because there were two or three of these placed in the in the same line or well in the in the same grain of the frame which has caused the frame to crack through the middle and that is less likely to happen with some smaller nails but just spread over in different grains We were at the shed and I thought, that's a very strange looking beam. Now I see it on the boat and I understand why you had that angle. And honestly, I almost got watery eyes because it's our transom getting a new shape again. So this is very, very exciting. It's always exciting here. So while this beam has just been put in, it's a quiet day. We only have two working on the team today, but that makes it so much easier to film just one thing. But look, he's going into the water. So you can see one wire, oh I'm not going to get too close, one wire is moving super slowly because it's got to get a lot of torque to pull this back. So yeah, he just came up for a quick fix and is heading back out again. We're still there for a little while but soon we'll be down. What Python is working on here is our pedibota in Portuguese, which would mean boot foot. But the official name in English, I don't know, that's just the translation of the words in Portuguese. And yeah, this goes in the stern. <laughs>
a beautiful smile is it we are super happy to see our transom this morning we arrived a little later because we had to go after some stuff for Ben's residency now everything is sorted we're really happy and ready to celebrate and one of the things we're celebrating is also all these new pieces of wood we have here since yesterday our horn timber in place but now the other teeth of the smile are the stern timbers and yeah they are already all in place now we are ready to receive the planks horizontally they will come here the great thing about this is that Yaba was not built like this before we only had horizontal planks with iron bars that were coming you can even see them here still and that was the way it was built just the planks and the iron bars holding them and now we have this that will give it a lot more structure and it will be safer and stronger and even prettier because I really like it so the support of our transom is finally on and it's these moments that really make us feel like our boat is being built and not only destroyed so the next steps of course we still need to continue with the hull you might have seen a few of those scenes today we won't focus on it specifically as it's a long process uh, you will see some scenes of it though but of course the next steps are also closing the transom we're gonna have to remove or fix the deck we're gonna have to fix the outside walls of the housing area the bulkheads build bulkheads so anyway there's a lot to do but we feel like this visual these visual changes like the transom being built are just really uplifting and motivating as opposed to everything being torn down so we really hope you enjoyed this and see you next time when hopefully we're building more and more and more see ya like this was of a smile right it was the first thing that came to my mind because for me it really looks like a mouth with teeth or maybe missing teeth I don't know then I sent the photo to our patrons group to see if anyone would agree with me and we got this in return <laughs> I think it's great this is really how I picture it so thank you so much Jan this is amazing <laughs>